One of the questions I get from folks who want to read more is how to use Libby. And then, once they figure out how to use it, how to be able to get access to books they actually are interested in in a reasonable time frame. So I wanted to show you one of my favorite tricks. In Libby, I'm using a computer screen, but it looks the same as the app. The books are kind of your default landing page where it shows you the books you have out. When you click on these three lines, it takes you to information about your account. So I have a loan due soon, and you can add multiple libraries. You're able to join multiple libraries depending on your library's rules. So for example, I live in the city where one of these libraries is located. Another one only requires me to be a resident of the state, not a resident of the city. So I'm able to join more than one library this way. Also for this demonstration purposes, I have borrowed library cards to show how to add and take them away and to show a greater number of examples. You'll notice that it stars whichever library you're actively using. So now that I have multiple cards, I can go and search for a book that I want to read. So let's say I search for The Love Hypothesis. It's a fairly popular book right now. And my results come up. And this is the book I'm talking about. My local library happens to have both the ebook and the audiobook. And I can place a hold. But before I do that, I want to consider if this is the best place for me to borrow the book from. I'm going to hover over this calendar and click it, and it's going to tell me how long the wait is. So in my local city, I have 104 copies in use and 336 people waiting. That sounds like a lot of people. Now in actuality, that's only about three people per copy. If this library has a 21 day um, that you can have a book checked out, that means three times 21, so it's going to take me about 14 weeks to get a copy. Faster if people read faster. So I can absolutely click and get a hold there. But I've used some other examples. If I were to look at Dayton, they only have an eight week wait. Or Cincinnati has an 11 week wait. The Ohio Library has a several month wait. Cuyahoga nine. Cleveland has several months. So you can make a decision here. Am I ready to read this now? Am I going to put this on hold and I'll eventually get around to it? Then I can choose where I want to get it. So let's say I'm going to choose Dayton. Then it takes me here and I can choose to put it on hold at the Dayton Library. Let me go back though. Now that I have Dayton up here in my search criteria, and I can switch between which library I want to look at. So right now it's starred because I'm looking at Dayton. But if I wanted to look at Cleveland or somewhere else, I could do that. So I'm going to search in Dayton and I'm going to again search the Love Hypothesis. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to click on my little calendar. Now it tells me about Dayton. There's 21 copies, 79 people are waiting, four people per copy. So it's about a eight weeks, eight, eight weeks each. You'll notice I only get these details on whatever library I'm actively searching in. So now this is 14 weeks. I know that that was, you know, 343 people waiting because I went over there and looked for it. But sometimes seeing this part is actually useful. Four people are waiting per copy at this library. Down here, even though it says 14 week wait, and even though there were 343 people waiting versus 79 people, there's only three people per book. So I can now make a decision about where I want to borrow from. I'm gonna guess the reason this says eight and this is 14 is there's probably a different length of loan. Um, the Columbus Library, I think, lets you loan for 21 days, and I'm guessing Dayton has shortened their wait time. Um, it's a popular book, so maybe they've made it that you can only borrow it for 14 days or something like that. So if you have multiple libraries, you can check where you're borrowing things from to ensure that you're having the shortest wait possible. Just make sure you're following your library's examples. Like I said, I'm using both libraries I'm eligible for because it's state of Ohio or city of Columbus or city of Cuyahoga. Um, and then I borrowed a few purely because I'm doing examples right now and I thought I'd put in some library cards and you can see how to add and take away.